Thanks. <laughs> We're good. Hey folks, Rich here at rcinformer.com. Thanks for checking out this video on the Star Max F-18. This video is an introduction to a series of upgrade videos for this plane that I'll be posting shortly. The plane has been in production for some time now and it's still in production and you can still find it at some uh, sellers out there. Uh, I've had this plane for years. It's an awesome airframe uh, with tremendous potential. And by making some uh, several improvements, I've turned it into a plane that you can fly every day uh, off of grass. Now I've decided to put this, uh, the changes I made into video form so I can share it with you uh, and uh, hopefully you can have the success I've had with it. Uh, whether you have a new airplane or whether you have an old one, maybe you have one that you uh, took the landing gear off uh, to turn it into a hand launch airplane, uh, these videos will show you how to put a good set of grass gear on the airplane, uh, make the airplane uh, rotate much better, uh, make it stronger, uh, uh, and make it faster as well. Um, the first video I already put out, it's uh, how to install uh, grass landing gear on the airplane and it shows you how to uh, um, install uh, digital electric serverless retracts uh, and the proper, list, proper uh, components and struts to put on the airplane that I used on mine and uh, this makes the airplane uh, or the landing gear tough enough to take off and land on, uh, on uh, a well-groomed uh, grass surface. Uh, the next video I'll be putting out uh, takes the landing gear uh, even a step further. I take the main landing gear and I show you how to reposition it uh, like I did on mine about two inches farther forward. Uh, initially it was about five and a half inches or so aft of the center of gravity and that made rotation uh, really difficult. The lift off was tough, you had to get up to a lot of speed, in particular on grass, and the plane had an abrupt rotation. By moving the landing gear forward it makes the rotation uh, sm much, much smoother and uh, it also makes the uh, side of the airplane, the entire airplane itself, much, much cleaner because it eliminates those holes on the side of the fuselage where the uh, wheels used to stick out. So uh, it is cleaner and it, uh, it just has a much nicer appearance as well. The next video I'm putting out is going to be how to install flaps on the airplane. This is the single most important uh, video uh, and the single most important uh, upgrade for this airplane and it's the key to making it uh, really rotate uh, well off of grass. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to cut out the flaps, add servos and how to wire them. Uh, it's a very simple and easy and inexpensive upgrade to do and uh, what it does is it changes the camber and it changes the uh, angle of attack of the wing at the root and uh, now the airplane just lifts off the runway and now rotates uh, normally. Definitely the flap installation video is uh, again the most important uh, video for this airplane. Uh, the next upgrade is going to be the addition of a metal fan. I'm going to show you how to install a metal fan in there. I used an RC uh, lander fan in there. Uh, the plastic uh, uh, fan that came with the airplane worked okay as long as you balanced it, but even after time it gets a little brittle and it, it kind of tends to crack, so I figure uh, the airplane warranted a metal fan uh, now that I fly the plane much, much more often. And uh, it, it makes it uh, smoother, uh, makes it sound a whole lot better as well. Obviously it adds a lot more power and gives you a little bit more speed. Uh, the next video, uh, I take it up a notch uh, and, I, and I replace the 1900 kV motor uh, that came with the metal fan with a 2100 kV extreme six cell motor from uh, EDF Hobbies. This motor, if you like speed, you like power, uh, it's definitely the way to go. You don't have to worry about upgrading to uh, eight cells and adding more weight to the airplane. This gives you more power and lets you stay with a, with a, with a six cell system. Uh, it gives the plane much better takeoff performance, so it assists the plane taking off, gives it better vertical performance, and of course more speed. The next video is a real important video, especially if you're going to go with more power, uh, and that is uh, how to install uh, tail spars in the airplane. Uh, the horizontal stabilizer in this airplane had uh, literally no structure from the factory. You just sort of glued them on, and uh, they flexed quite a bit. And uh, with the extra speed and power now, uh, mine were actually beginning to crack at the root a little bit. So uh, the video is going to show you how to very easily cut and install carbon spars in the tail to make the tail much, much tougher. And finally, 
the next thing I've added uh, to the airplane, um, which is a nice item to have, and that is a latch for the fan hatch. Um, I'm sure many of you have had this happen where you're zooming down the runway or something or and the, 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 the fan hatch uh, you know, blows off the, the airplane and you got to go find it. It's kind of a nuisance. Um, you can tape it down if you want, but that tends to tear up the paint and make it look sort of ugly. So I've designed a hatch uh, latch system to put on the airplane so you don't have to worry about this happening. It's very clean, relatively easy to install, and, and, uh, and it's just a real nice uh, another system for the airplane that, uh, that helps you get good access to that hatch and it won't, it won't, and it won't fly off in flight. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, take a look out for these videos. Uh, they should be out here shortly. Uh, keep in mind that when it comes to things like uh, the tougher landing gear, repositioning the gear, the flaps, metal fan, and increasing the uh, power, it's a combination of these things that actually make this airplane uh, rotate and lift off uh, a lot better than it did as it came than, it, than when it came from the factory. So again, you combine all these together, and you'll have a heck of an airplane. Anyway, guys, appreciate you watching this video. Stay tuned. These upgrade videos will be out shortly. Check out rcinformer.com. And again, thanks for watching.